be here. Let me see here. So now I'm trying to share my screen now. Okay, and we want to be here. Okay. <clears throat> okay, should be like this. And we should be able to do this, maybe like that. Okay. Bill, can you see the screen? Because I have been having issues. Can you tell me real fast? Bill? Or someone? Speak up, please. Can you tell me if you can see the screen? Somebody? Anybody? Well, I hope you are can see it because I'm getting ready to go through it. All I was right. trying to figure out how to say something. I couldn't figure it out, but I'm 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 here. I sent you a text. I'm not looking at my phone. Hey, in case, sorry, you, guys, sorry. In case you guys didn't know, he's also a good friend of mine, but he's gonna he's gonna have some words here in a second. And I'm almost finished, Bill, because I don't want to hold you all night either. Okay, so the first thing I want you guys to see here on the website is whenever you go to a website. The first thing you want to look for is to see if this website is a registered trusted site. The first thing that pops up in your face and my face in the right hand corner is it is trusted. Now, you can't that's not just something somebody can create and put in their corner of their website. It actually has to go through the steps to be approved and to be attached to the website to make it a legitimate site. So that lets you know right there that your information is safe with this website tells you right on the front page financial products and services and to contact us now but we're going to start here at the home field here the home button so like i said before in order to get going with our program you must understand i gotta have those reports and scores so this is where a lot of people get stumped up at because they don't finish this step or something happens and they get blocked out the only reason that I have seen that you can get locked out at this point. Now, I could be wrong. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Is if you missed, you did not answer the security questions that they asked you specifically from your credit reports. So let me explain that one more time. What normally happens when you get ready to sign up for the monitoring is it pulls questions from your credit reports that only you know the answer to. And now here's where it gets tricky. Sometimes they, they will pull questions that may be one digit off. And if you go too fast, you might think it's right and it could be completely wrong. If you answer it too many times wrong, the system thinks that someone's trying to steal your identity, so it then is going to lock you out. Once again, we can't get going until we get past this problem. So what we've got to do now is we've got to get unlocked through the system that you were trying to get your credit through. So what we would do here is just click on Get My Credit Reports Now, and then it's going to bump you to a site called Credit Hero Score. This is the site where you should be signing up for your, your trial. Now, I've got news for you. People don't like this trial because it's a dollar to start it, but it's $34.99 per month to keep it. Now, let me explain to you the $35 because that's the first thing people want to say to me. Why is, it, why is it $35? Let me explain what it is, and then you'll understand why you should and need to keep it. First of all, the $35 a month is going to give you access to all three reports and scores and monitoring. So anything that happens, a change that happens to your reports, when there's something that gets deleted from the system, it changes your scores. You'll have that at your fingertips because that comes with the monitoring. So at the minute that we've got something removed that we put in investigation, you're going to know about it and you're going to see it in your score. That's benefit number one. 
Benefit number two is the up to $1 million in identity theft protection. Now, you might say, what the heck do I need that for? I had a buddy say that same thing to me until he found out somebody stole his identity in Georgia and bought an entire house and he had to fight it in court. Well, the identity theft protection will then pay for that, including all of the legalities and the fees that are associated with it. So that's also what you get with the monitoring. Benefit number three, you're going to ask me what's happening with my credit. And I'm going to say, let's look at it together. Because if you cancel the membership, we have no way to update you. Our system electronically pulls all of your personal information from the credit monitoring system and puts it into a cloud for us to be able to, at one point, investigate a person in less than 10 minutes. If that step is not completed and we don't have that information there, then we have no way to continue to investigate and, until we get things removed. Sometimes it takes two or three rounds and a fight back and forth. If it's not in there because you didn't pay for the membership, then you've lost the membership. You think we're just going to keep working on your credit for wait, for till whenever? No. $35, it, is, it hurts a little bit. But when you look at the benefits of it, it gives you way more than what you think. Now, Everybody doesn't need to keep that $35 membership for the same amount of time because some people only need credit repair for two months. They only have two or three negative items on their report. It's not going to take them long. We're going to go in here and scrub up a few items that are on that report so they don't need it for long. Some people, you're a 420 and you're talking about buying a house. It's going to take at least a year. Acknowledge the fact that you're gonna have to keep the membership in order for us to do our job, make you happy and produce results for you. If you don't do these things, I don't wanna hear it was our fault because I've heard that violin for years and I can't wait to show people now, no, here's the proof, it's your fault. That's why I love my new system because it keeps track of everything. Now. Very important you understand if you hire me as the person to help you fix your credit, that you understand that you must stay on time with any bills that you currently have right now. If you don't understand this simple principle, then don't tell me why did my score drop? You didn't do anything to help me. No, you are responsible to keep those bills on time because they're still reporting. So if I take off a bunch of negative items and you let your monthly car payment go 30 days late, what do you think is gonna hurt you more? The old items that were 15 years on your report or what just happened? So we gotta understand that's important. Point number two, don't let anybody pull your credit. I don't give two dams what they tell you. They love to say it at the register. Oh, save 30%. Just say, don't do it. It's a hard inquiry, and I'm going to know about it, and you are too. And when you see it happen and you see it affect your score, understand that that is more work for us to now do to help you because you just now added more inquiries to your report that did not need to be there. Inquiries can take up to two years, and they do affect you depending on how recent they are. We can address any negative item. It doesn't matter what it is. So when you ask me, student loans, child support, doesn't matter what it is. We're going to look at the debt. We're going to look at the laws of the Fair Credit Reporting Act, and we're going to stand your credit report up against the law. If they're not following the law, the law says they have to remove themselves. So if I investigate something with you and I give you 45 days, now I think it's almost 60 days they have to respond. I give you 60 days to respond and you choose to ignore me. By law, you got to come off my report. Most people don't know these, these things. I know this stuff like the back of my hand and it's now been all put into a system that is done at the fingertips. So everybody can see it all. You can monitor it all. 
So once you've gotten your monitoring signed up, then all you need to do right after that is click on the credit repair tab. Once you then click on the credit repair tab, then it says sign up now. All you're going to do is jump right in there and sign up. You'll put your email in there. You'll put your last name. You'll put your address in there. You'll put your phone number in there. And then if you have a spouse, once you hit that space, then what will happen is it's going to trigger my team to then send you a welcome electronic sign-up link, which then will come back to you with a contract that you will sign on your phone. All it does is tell you, it spells out exactly everything I just said to you. There's no guarantees. There's no promises. There's no money back guarantees. So don't start thinking that, oh, I'm going to get my money back if something happens six months down the line. No way. Are you kidding me? Because now we're going to have record of what we've been able to do for you. So there's not going to be any more of what happened and how did you help me? No, we're going to be able to show you what you had on that report, what your scores were when you started, up until the second, if somebody pulled your credit, what it did to your report. So now it puts the magnifying glass back on the right person, whether it's, you know, it's no more of, it's just us as a company, because that is what I've heard a lot of the years I've been in this. People, the first time you can't do something for somebody, oh, you, 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 can't, you, you can't help me. It's the first time you can't do something, but they forget all the things that you did do. Oh, you were a 392 credit score, couldn't finance a stick of gum. Now you're a 680, but I didn't do anything for you. No, we got to take a look at this like a magnifying glass. And I love this system because it allows us to do so. So once you do then put that in there, it triggers your contract. You get your contract by your phone. You sign it. Then it's going to make you upload a picture of your ID. Why? Because how many times do I look at a credit report and you got 15 addresses on there because you refuse to change them. Well, guess what? The bank looks at you like you're unstable because you have so many addresses. It looks like you moved every year. So guess what? You're getting turned down every time you apply for something and you don't even know why. You walk in there and say, I'm a 690. Why'd they turn me down? Because you got 95 addresses on your credit report. Did you ever think of that? The ID verifies where you say you live. So we match up the ID and we get all them old addresses removed. Number two, phone numbers. Old phone numbers got to go bye-bye. Why? Lenders call your credit report phone numbers to verify what you tell them. So if you got a disconnected cell phone on there, what does it look like when they call to check your references to see if you're legit? You look like a scam. Those numbers have to go bye-bye. Okay. Again, the old, the fake, the, the names messed up. Oh, there's an L. I don't use a middle initial here. Oh, my last name is first. All of that's a scam. You can't, it, 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 the name mismatches, they need to be corrected. All of those things affect your credit. And what a good credit repair company does is they fix the mistakes. The score takes care of itself, providing you continue to do what you're supposed to do along the way. And that's not, oh, why did my score drop? No, let's take a look. Did you max out that credit card and didn't like I told you not to do? Did you did you forget that? Oh, it's Christmas. You know, I hear this every year. Oh, I, Christmas, man, these kids, I had to get these kids. You care more about the kids Christmas and then a year later you want to buy a house. Well, it's never going to happen because every year is going to have Christmas for your kids and you're going to say the same exact thing every single year. At the end of the day, it's a sacrifice. And I've opened the doors for, uh, I think now we've got room for 16 more people. So those of you that listen to this video, make sure you share it with your friends and family because whoever else needs it, once we close the door, we're back to full price. And at full price, we're, we're back to charging, we're gonna be charging 275 a person. And so at the end of the day, this is a chance for you to save $200. So can your friends and your family for a benefit with a guy who designed a program who knows what he's doing. And that's why I've got one of my testimonials on here tonight. Um, that pretty much sums what I, up what I've got to say. Will, can, uh, 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 Mr. Uh, Philosopher, can you chime in, say what you need to say, and then I'm going to let you go because I, I don't want to hold you. Uh, but if there's any other questions for me from anybody else, I do want to leave that, that, that opportunity open as well. 
Okay, not sure if you can see me or not. Can you see me in a video? Uh, let me stop my screen here. Now I can. You're like in and out, but I can see you. Okay, it must just not be bright enough in here as far as the light goes. But uh, yeah, I'm good friends with uh, Marquise. My name is Bill, and Marquise has done this for me already. So I had a situation. Everybody's situation is a little different, which you know may be responsible for your credit going bad. Mine was uh, separating from, you know, my spouse and that just kind of ruined everything. Car, uh, unable to afford credit card bills, et cetera, et cetera. So it kind of put me in a bind and had me going backwards for almost a year, a uh, year and a half, roughly, as far as my credit goes. So then I got with Marquise. He helped me out and, you know, I was in need of a car and everything. So I was able to get myself a car and now I'm able to get myself out here working and doing what I need to do. And in the meantime, while I'm uh, paying on this car that I have now, that's building my credit. Uh, he's still doing the stuff that he's doing to my credit. So getting rid of the negative things that are on there is just going to continue to keep my score going up as long as I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. You you know, and, and all things with your credit, your credit only stays looking good if you're paying your bills and that's really what it comes down to is, is is making your payments on time and getting the right companies uh making the right reports and like you said a lot of these companies can have uh three or four different companies reporting on the same thing and that really hurts your credit a whole lot that's that's four negative things from one from from one incident so He'll get rid of all of that stuff, put you in a good position to where you can get everything going, but spend that little $35 a month that you that you need to spend. We're talking about, you know, you being able to buy a, a $150,000, $200,000 house. We're talking about you buying a twenty thirty thousand dollars $30,000 car. What's $35 a month for a few months to get your stuff back on track? So I say go for it. It works. He knows what he's doing and give him the opportunity to fix your life. And that's really all I got. Thank you. Thank you much. Thank you much. Thank you much. And just as a, uh, and you can go ahead and take off if you like. And I really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, yep, no uh, problem. No problem. Take care, brother. Yep. You will. Uh, yep. You too. Um, and, and just, just to expound one more thing on what he just said, um, you know, when it comes down to me knowing this stuff, I do know this stuff inside and out. I mean, there's not anything you can ask me when it comes to credit that I cannot tell you. And I also know the finance industry inside and out, uh, the passive income industry right now. We're involved in several different passive income projects right now. And one of the projects are paying us, we're getting 8% per day, like literally making 8% per day. And see, to most of us that look like this, unfortunately, we usually don't care about stuff like that. And then we sit back and say, oh, we didn't know about it. Didn't nobody tell us. Well, at the end of the day, somebody's collecting that 8% per day. And so it's, I'm the marketing director for that as well. And then I also am the person that does websites. I do social media marketing. So if you're a business owner and you want to start your own business, I show you how to establish credit for your business. I give you the proper steps. Do this, do this, follow this, do this next, do this next. And those that follow my instruction are the ones that usually end up buying houses, starting businesses. There's plenty of stories out there of people that I have assisted in over the years that have done these things. Is this is not something that I'm making up or or uh, you know that cannot be verified? It really is something that can be proved because there's plenty of people um, that 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 can can talk and vouch for their experience with me. So uh, you know it comes down to and then also if you're a victim of identity theft, this is stuff I need to know. If we look at that credit report and you look at it and say, what the heck is this? I don't even know what this is. Well, then you need to speak up because there is an a, an avenue specifically for victims of identity theft. But we can't take that avenue if you don't tell me that that is the avenue. So this is where the education comes into play or why I want you to keep the monitoring so you can look at your own credit scores, you can look at your reports whenever you want to, and it's not this back and forth because in the beginning, that's what it was when I first started, trying to make a name for myself. I, I did everything by hand and I did everybody one by one and 55,000 people was calling my phone before you know it. And, and eventually it got too much. I, I, I couldn't do it. And so now this system allows everybody to be happy and me to effectively uh, also take care of you along the way as well. 
So uh, that is all I've got. If you have any questions, now's the time to go ahead and speak. Because uh, if you take yourself off the mic, I'm, I can answer anything you want to ask me. Uh, how to get started. Uh, what you do need to do is make your payment to donate KNSMIN for right now. And do not, please hear me, do not put in the comments credit repair. I know that sounds like a scam, but let me tell you, it is a scam. And then let me tell you why it's a scam. Because banks don't like credit repair companies. They look at credit repair companies almost like they do CBD. They don't like us because we're the guys that let people slip through the cracks. Pretty much, if a bank puts something on your credit that you know you owe and they know you owe, but because of their slip up and their breaking of the law, they have to take their name off your credit. They don't too much care for people like credit repair companies. So I can totally understand the bank's position, but at the end of the day, it doesn't stop the one that they don't stop the music. We still roll over that. And at the end of the day, um, you know, you just have to follow the set, the, 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 the way things go. And that, and so if you, if you tell uh, uh, um, cash app that it's credit repair, not only do you run the risk of shutting yourself, your own cash app down, but also our company cash app down. I've been down this road with PayPal and every other billing site uh, 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 system. Uh, most of them just don't like the uh, the industry of credit repair. It's almost like I said, it's a high risk industry. They know that people dispute things all the time that they legitimately owe. And legally, there's nothing they can do about it. There's nothing they can do about it. Also, I'm a tax preparer. I know the laws of the land, the same laws that Donald Trump can get on national TV and tell the world that he doesn't pay any taxes because he's smart. I know those laws. If you're a small business owner, you better be talking to me when it comes to your taxes because these the H&R Block and them, they will give you two middle fingers and they don't care. Trust me. So talk to somebody who's been doing taxes for over 10 years. Never have I ever reported a uh, audit on anybody that has been uh, a person that I've done taxes for. Now, you nobody can stop from the IRS reviewing them. It's always luck to the draw, pink of the litter. No one knows. But what I will tell you is there's never been an issue or mistake because of something that was done on my end. So again, and then if you're an Ohioan, I am also a notary recorded with Lucas County, commissioned until 2028. You can get with me if you need notarization documents. Also, I am a recorded registered minister with the state of Ohio. You want to get married? I can license you. I can do it. Call me. I'm a trick of the trade. Get in, stay connected with me. It'll be the best connection that you have ever made in your entire life. And I'm the Minister of Mel Kimball, and I mean that. Any questions, comments, things, because I'm live on Facebook or I'm live on our websites. I'm live everywhere. Looks like we're live on YouTube. We're live everywhere. So if there's any questions, comments, or anything, uh, there's pretty much what you got to do. You make your payment. You get your credit reports and scores. You follow the steps in the system. Get your ID uploaded. Get your piece of mail uploaded because we've got to verify that address. We got 15 addresses on there. The only thing that verifies an address is a utility bill. Don't give me a car insurance. Don't prove that you live there. Just because you got your car registered there doesn't mean you live here. So don't, don't give me that. Don't give me some, oh, uh, uh, oh my, can I use my, my medical insurance? No, it doesn't prove you live there. You've got to prove that you live there. Even your lease doesn't really prove that you live there because your address, oh yeah, your lease does prove it. But if you, if you, if you give me a medical bill, that does not prove you live there. You could have lived somewhere else when you got the medical bill. So at the end of the day, they want utility bills, which is water, cell phone, things like that. So get your utility bill uploaded with your copy of your ID. Once you have got all three scores, then I can get started right away. And you'll start seeing results the minute things are starting to fall off your report, because you're going to be able to log in. You're going to set up your own portal, your own username, your own password. It won't be no more, what's going on with my credit? What happened to my score? Why did my score drop? It won't be any more of that anymore. You'll be able to see it, and so will I. Any questions? All right, that looks like it does it for me. Until next time, be blessed on purpose.